we're delighted to be here and support this exceptional exhibition. Our relationship uh, with LACMA goes back to Farhang Foundation's inception back in 2008, and we've had a great partnership over the years. Uh, this particular exhibition is spectacular because it uh, showcases the art of feasting, and that is something that is common amongst all cultures, and we are delighted that the, the Iranian culture is being represented in this uh, exhibition. I want to thank Linda Komarov and the entire team at LACMA for all the hard work they've put into this exceptional exhibition, and we welcome everyone to come experience it in person. standing in my latest exhibition, which is entitled Dining with the Sultan, the Fine Art of Feasting. I think the title kind of explains what the exhibition is about. It's about food culture. So we have many works of art here that would have been receptacles for food. We have lots of bowls and plates and dishes and cups and ewers and jugs, all of which are exceedingly beautiful. So they had two functions. One was to look good and the other one was to serve food or beverage. I'd say about a third of the objects in the exhibition are from Iran or the greater Iranian area. Um, Iran, like other countries in the region, had a fascination with food. Not all of these countries shared the same types of food, but they shared a love of good food and of, of sharing that food with friends and, and neighbors. So there's a lot about hospitality here. In addition to the objects, there are manuscript illustrations, especially from Persian manuscripts that show people picnicking outdoors or preparing food. We also have a number of cookbooks. Uh, for an Iranian audience, perhaps the most important one is a unique manuscript that was written by the chef of Nasr Adin Shah, uh, and it was specifically for the Shah's physician. Uh, the manuscript was thought to be lost and only survive in microfilm, which was then printed, and uh, that copy is in the National Library in Tehran, but we have the original one here, which includes an inscription by the Shah's French physician. We've also reproduced uh, virtually one of the recipes from that, which is for a sweet omelet. So if anyone wants to try to eat what Nasr Din Shah ate, they can just download the recipe. And for my friends at Farhang Foundation, thank you as always for your support and look forward to working with you again on some other project.